and we begin with the cleanup after last night's storm. Wind advisories still in effect this afternoon. Take a look here at this video that shows the power of the storm. An uprooted tree smashed into two cars last night in Brooklyn. This is on 62nd Street in Sunset Park. And a new look at the damage to a hotel in New Jersey. The National Weather Service tells us this was caused by straight line winds, not a tornado. You can see much of the building's roof collapsed or peeled away. Meteorologist Jeff Smith will tell us when the winds will die down, but we're going to begin this afternoon with New Jersey reporter Anthony Johnson live. Anthony. Yes, yeah, certainly terrifying evening for a lot of residents in this area of New Jersey. And depending on where you were in the state, some places got these strong winds, others didn't really feel anything. But here in Neptune, those terrifying winds, the fury of Mother Nature were certainly felt and mainly at a local motel. Let's just show you some of the video from that motel. This is what is left of the rooftop of the Neptune Motor Lodge. The extensive damage happening in just a matter of moments as occupants of the motel had to hold on for dear life. The debris was flying through the air with one large piece landing on a car nearby, destroying that vehicle. Lucky for the driver, they did survive. The National Weather Service says this was the result of straight line winds so strong they toppled a trailer nearby and pushed a boat out of the water. One witness says everyone at a nearby restaurant saw the big blast and had to run for cover. All of a sudden, people had to scramble inside and take cover. Utility crews have been making repairs, but it looks like the damage to the motor lodge is so severe the building cannot be occupied. The building's department here will determine if it must be demolished. It's extensive damage to the, to the hotel. And uh, there was some flooding here because of the storm. And there was high winds last night that, that took the roof off. I saw a drone picture, and, and the roof is pretty much all gone. And there's still a chance of debris coming out. Regardless of what type of wind it was, but the wind got under some portion of the roof, and it basically lifted. Uh, some witnesses said they saw a big section of the roof come up, drop back down, and then it began to tear off uh, for the next you know, 15, 20 minutes during the height of the wind action. So you're looking at some of the belongings of the people that actually have lived in the hotel. There were 11 occupants here at a time. We asked the lady that is across the street what happened. She said it felt like a punch that it came so rapidly and then all of a sudden was over. The roof actually buckled and then started to peel apart at the time that the winds came through. Once again, the National Weather Service is saying this is straight line winds. The good news is Despite all of that, no one here was hurt.